so I'm gonna look to see if my car is over there. What, what? My car is still there and Howie's not there. What, what, what? I'm so glad my friend was able to come out today to check on it because I was really worried. Really. But I'm super, super thankful that it's still there. Super thankful that I don't have to pull it out of some tow yard or whatnot. I should have remembered that. They came on the car wheel. Huh? They see, they saw you on the TikTok. Who? People, they saw, saw you on the TikTok. Good. Talk about somebody. Yeah. It wasn't you guys? What did you do on TikTok? Make videos. They said that you had YouTube say that you had STD. Yep, I do. And I say it proudly on there because I want it to be uh, normalized on, uh, I want it to be normalized. Having herpes just means that you have a skin skin condition. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. Yeah, 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 they ever talk about that too. I said emotion, I said two sides gets everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. I think he might have messed up. He, he, did you see him doing anything to my car while I was gone? No, he came up with a fresh light. I ain't seen him. Yeah. Oh, really bad. So, um, I, I hopefully it's an oil and tire shop. The last one I went to was. I didn't even know that be, it wasn't leaking oil before. So. Yeah. So I don't know. You know. I just let you know it's leaking oil pretty bad. Whatever you hit right here, if you come on this side, that whole thing is caved what in. What the heck, man? Oh, the I didn't even hit condenser. anything. Huh? I don't remember hitting anything. Well, something got hit. It wasn't, I don't remember it being like that the other day. So somebody hit my freaking car? No. No, that ain't hit from sitting still. Somebody drove that into something. Uh -huh. But that, see what's all caved in? Yeah, that's the, the radiator, isn't it? That's the radiator, that's the air conditioner condenser, that's your transmission line, that's your oil line to go into the oil cooler. Oh my god, what the fuck, man? Where can I even take this place? I don't have that much money right now to... Yeah, because it's not drivable. Yeah. At all. I don't have that much money right now to get that fixed. I have like $350, and that's more than $350. Yeah, that's a couple Do you grand. You guys... Uh, <laughs> Whatever was hit, it went right through that. Uh, and it's a front wheel drive uh, vehicle too, so that's even worse. Right there in my is car. Green? Come here. What is, oh, you, oh, you're talking about uh, Adam. Look in there. Uh, so, are you, would you be able to fix that? Okay, the radiator? Okay, it's leaking. It's smashed in all over there. The radiator? Yeah. He well, said it's going to be two to four thousand dollars to get it fixed. Hmm, for a radiator? It's not just the radiator. It's not Oh, or something. It's all smashed in right there, see? Yeah, it's all smashed in. Yeah. Front wheel drive. That's that's a lot of damage. What did you fucking hit, man? I don't even know. I didn't see anything in the road. Did he hit your car? I don't. They say it couldn't have been hit from sitting still, but I don't remember it being like that when I left yesterday. No. Or it the did, day before. It didn't look like that. I don't know what uh, he did okay. to it, but so, he did something to it. Truck. Okay. So what are we going to do now? Because it needs, I need, either need to have it taken to a scrapyard or have it towed to the trailer. And I think uh, Howie did something to my car because my car was not like this uh, freaking the other day. The bumper wasn't all messed up and also this front part wasn't all smashed in. But the tow truck people said 
that it could be anywhere from $2,000 to $4,000 to get it fixed. <sighs> Motherfucker. This guy is just out to ruin my fucking life. So, yeah. It was, my vehicle was not freaking leaking the, the day that the other tow truck driver brought it back. And I know for dang sure that my car wasn't this was there, but not the front end part. Fucking bullshit. So now the tow truck drivers are just waiting for my insurance to come through uh, because I had to change the address reference for a shop in Greenville. Uh, but to cover that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, well, I thought when she talked to insurance, um, they said that they would do like thirty per. Um, no, that's what people said. And that's yep, that sounds just like them, but what they're doing they're only covering the eighty dollars of it. Okay. Um, I appreciate of you guys coming out I'm here so and sorry. helping me out as much as you could though. With his truck, he must have rammed your car. Somebody did something to it, and it wasn't like this the other night. No. If you honestly think somebody damaged it, I mean, you could try to make a police report. Yeah. That might go a long ways with your insurance, too. Okay. But let them know everything that transpired and be like, it wasn't like this. I think he hit it. I think he ran into it. Um, and see what the police say. Okay. Um, but that is yeah, you can see. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that shit for yeah. sure. Yeah. Y'all have a good day. Y'all too. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. All right, dude. Yeah, I noticed this shit uh, when I came up, and my car was not like that fucking before. Nope. No, it was not like that. No. Nobody is answering at the non-emergent line in Liberty and said that they cannot uh, do anything uh, coming from a judge's standpoint. Uh, if I had video of him actually doing it, then they could do something, but uh, they don't file accident reports. Ooh, sweet deal. Dylan from Tad's Towing that towed my car the first time is coming out to pick it up again. That guy was super professional, so I'm super excited that he's doing it. And I got his name this time. Tad's... Oh, they're out of Marietta, South Carolina. I don't know where that's at, but pretty dang cool. There's my same dude coming up to pick up my baby. Woo woo! That's what I call service. This guy is a real professional. So the tow not deliver uh, my vehicle outside of the gate and the gate is closed at the shop that I'm having it t taken to. Uh, so, um, and I actually prefer it that way because I don't want, I don't like parking my vehicle out on the street whatsoever. So, we're going to try and see if he can reschedule it to a business day. Yeah, I know. And, uh... Yeah. Tuesday at 1 p.m.